Before we get started with today's video, y'all, if you guys are looking to buy a godlike NBA 2K19 account, make sure you guys hit up legit accounts, 100% legit. The link will be in the description. As my loyal subscribers know, I've been live streaming me playing on this build every single day lately. A build that can break ankles at 94. A build that can speed boost with double takeover. A build that can get pro dribble moves at 97 and the fastest big man build in the game well today i'm going to show you the best and most underrated stretch big build in the game what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h back in the building we get another banger and in today's video as you can tell by the thumbnail of my title i'm going to be showing you guys the best playmaking stretch big build in the game and the only playmaking stretch big build in the game that can speed boost with takeover break ankles and get pro dribbles at 97 because there's only one specific build an exact weight exact wingspan exact height everything man so let's get straight into it. i know a lot of you guys want this build and a lot of people are probably saying well why isn't the pure stretch better or the shot creating stretch well guys this build is basically a pure stretch the only difference is the three point goes down a little the rating only goes down by like four on the three pointer and the badges only go from hall of fame to gold and you still have gold limitless just like a pure stretch so it, in my opinion as long as you have a jump shot that you're used to a good jump shot which i have the best stretch big jump shot on my channel i'll put the link in the description then you're going to be chilling with the gold shooting badges, okay? We're going to show you guys the badges. We're going to show you guys the stats and everything. And then we're going to show you guys some gameplay at the end that I took of this morning. But anyways, I'm about to hit 94 overall on this build very soon. I'm talking about the next couple days. So you, everybody drop a like on this video and comment down below if you want to see me playing on this build at double takeover 94 overall, man. So anyways, let's get straight into it. It does not matter if you're left-handed or right-handed. Um, it's just basically preference. I like being left-handed, so I chose left. And you want to be a power forward. Don't be a center. That's just dumb. You have to be a power forward, especially to get these good badges. Okay? So, second of all, you're going to want to obviously pick three-point shooting first. And playmaking secondary, especially since you can't be playmaking primary at the power forward or center position. Now, here goes the badges the only Hall of Fame badges to get free throw ace. You can see you still get all the a bunch of shooting badges on gold, you get gold Tyler scored. Look at you get silver dimer, silver flashy passer, silver lob city passer, and not to mention bronze pick and roll maestro. And you get um, a bunch of as you see silver difficult shots and you get bronze teardropper so it's basically a play sharp this is basically a play sharp and it has the same bars by the way as a play sharp at guard it's basically a play sharp stretch and it actually can dribble if you learn how to dribble on it which i am still getting used to but anyways let's move on to the height now height is very important a lot of people think i'm seven foot and honestly you can't tell the difference but I'm actually six foot eleven. You can go six ten, but I feel like you know you may as well take the extra inch, you know, and get more wingspan two out of it. So go six eleven, seven foot. You won't be able to get pro drill moves, um, and it's just not gonna work, bro. You're gonna be a lot slower too. And keep in mind, this is the fastest big man build in the game. And then when it comes to weight, now weight is very important. You have to be below 215 pounds and if you don't know why you got to go check out um that dribble tutorial i came out with a couple days ago on this behind the back now basically i chose minimum weight just to be the fastest i can be but if you want to you have to be below 215 to do that behind the back i just showed you on the screen but anyways i wanted to be as fast as possible because i don't care about contact dunk i don't care about strength and i don't care about box out on this build considering if i'm playing twos i'm gonna be running the one threes i'm gonna be running the two or maybe even the one sometimes so I just went minimum weight 205 pounds and it really doesn't affect like it just makes me faster so you may as well go minimum weight but don't go higher than 215 pounds or else you're not gonna be able to do that behind the back and that behind the back is very OP and very useful if you don't have pro drill moves yet and that you don't get that until 97. Now the wingspan is also um, very important when it comes to shooting and ball control. See I don't get 70 ball control unless I have, I have to have minimum wingspan. 
and if you get 70 ball control you get that you unlock that at 97 overall you get pro drill moves so you're basically a pure sharp but seven feet tall basically so definitely go you have to go minimum wingspan i don't care if you don't think you're getting to get the night i don't care bro you may as well go minimum wingspan and you can't tell a difference like it's not that big of a deal but anyways here goes some gameplay now i'm gonna talk about the build a little bit now like i said you can shoot overheads on this build you're super fast on this build you can rim run on this build and i don't even have double takeover yet now i do have a lot of dr good dribble moves but i don't have any pro dribbles obviously because i don't unlock that until 97 overall but this build is insane bro the silver dimer on twos does wonders i can play with glass cleaners rims locks sharp rebounders sharp rims stretch rebounders it doesn't matter they're all gonna if they know their jump shot they're gonna make their shots with the silver dimer bro it's that good i can throw lobs to my locks and my rims whatever i have lob city um passer on silver uh, going off of a screen on this stretch big build makes you green way more way more than usual on any other stretch big because it has pick and roll mice on bronze that actually does wonders for this build it has silver difficult shots so i can still fade just like a pure stretch can fade and another thing is when i do get double takeover that playmaking takeover if i do snatchbacks i can break ankles like crazy okay break ankles like crazy euro steps euro dunks are super op on this build especially if people are guarding up on me i'm the fastest big man build in the game i can just run right by them and especially with that behind the back people can't guard that shit bro i'm i i've been using this build so far i've used this build without double takeover bro and i've used an account with double takeover now if you don't have double takeover yet y'all see me on stream i'd be going crazy okay but anyways guys make sure to like this video if you're making this build drop a sub if you're new man and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you can see every time i go live which is every single day and this has been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here man peace i was i was gonna buy i'm gonna stack that money tall after i get my